Right guys, I'm playing Warzone Mobile on my Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5. I'm using a um, PS5 DualSense controller, uh, gamepad or controller, whatever you want to call this. And um, I'm playing this game on my, uh, uh, this is Android. I do have the same game on my iPhone 14 Pro Max. And on the 14 Pro Max, I do use the backbone. So the backbone is the controller I'm using. In here, I'm actually changing my weapons. As I've told you guys, I do use the striker a lot and the ram uh, 9 or 7 or whatever they want to call it. Uh, the stinger is uh, like... Um... Right, so I do use the grenade launcher. I was able to unlock the grenade launcher. Uh, I'm just trying to swap out some weapons here. Uh, with the sniper weapon, I did I did actually pair my sniper weapon. I used the Old Faith uh, Black Cell. It's a Black Cell weapon, uh, you know, to kill people quickly. I used the grenade launcher. I've got uh, Tactical, I've got Gas Grenade, Lethal, I've got the Claymores. Those are the ones you can put on the ground that, you know, someone runs over it, it explodes. Uh, if I wasn't using this uh, Claymores, I would use the Proximity Mine. So I know what you're thinking. Why not uh, use proximity? The uh, thing with proximity is that it flies up in the air. And if you're close to it as well, the thing about this game is they try to make it fair, right? So if that thing flies up and, you, and you're close to it, even though it's you that put it down, you will suffer damage. But the claymore, the good thing about claymore is it doesn't fly up in the air. It just remains on the ground. And as long as you're not, as you're not too close to the claymore and it explodes, it only kills the person that's uh, coming after you. The field upgrade I'm using here is the heartbeat sensor. And the reason why I'm using heartbeat sensor is because I've got a sniper weapon and I've got claymore. So I could go and hide, camp somewhere in the game, um, you know, and then basically wait for someone uh, who doesn't expect me to be camping. And then I use my field sensor. I mean, my uh, heartbeat sensor. And what this thing does, it actually shows who's close to you. You see? So I can target people easier. I've not used this one yet, but the grenade launcher is just a backup weapon. So obviously, um, I could have had a gun with this, but I was thinking if there's a group of them, I might as well take out a group, then have a pistol and miss and, <laughs> you know, and still get shot down. This one, the SV4, but the SV4, I do have black cell with this one. I've got black cell and I'm going to, the, the, my advice is if you've got black cell, don't change anything on it. I know don't, you're thinking changing the scopes and stuff. The way it's been made, the way it's been done for you, is that those are the, what makes it, you know, uh, uh, what uh, potent. Like, that's what makes it so good, right, if it's black cell. So what I used to do, I used to change the scopes and stuff. And when you change something on the gun, you actually change its functionality. Or you're changing the power. Of the gun so it's just easier so if you get black cell don't change nothing just leave it as it is right oh that's black cell as well my sniper weapon um am i just going for only black cell weapons well basically no i do use like strike i told you i use striker a lot and grenade launcher uh with this one out the field upgrade i use on this one is called anti-armor rounds so what happens to this one when you uh, click R1 and R2 on the DualSense controller, uh, you change your ammo, and this is armor piercing. Uh, it's anti-armor rounds. So this one, it, it's, um, it says gives weapon ammo that uh, applies bonus against armored targets. This includes vehicles, equipment, body armor, and targets behind penetrable cover. So if you have this kind of ammo, to, it will shoot through those containers. You see what I mean? So if someone's hiding in a container and I start shooting at you, it'll actually pass through the, con the container, the metal. So that's what the reinforced, it's reinforced ammo, you know, bullets and stuff. So this one, that's black cell. And then I've got that uh, gun thing. This one is the Bass P and I've got the uh, WSP Stinger. This one is just basically like light machine guns. This one here, I've got the Stinger as well. But you know one thing, I, I do want to pair this with the that gun. This gun. Because it's both they're both fire now. That's got fire, that's a shotgun, that's got fire. So why make them different? Uh, these ones, they're both strikers. The top one here, I think, is a Striker 9. 
and the other one is a striker. You'll notice that I do use striker a lot. The Fennec and the Ibis, like this one, I haven't used that weapon that much, so I can't actually tell if it's good or not. The BP-50, I like that weapon, that's his Black Soul. The top one is also a Black Soul weapon. Right, so why have I changed my weapons? Because uh, I keep getting shot a lot, and I start to realize that a lot of people are using Black Soul weapons. And uh, the advantage of the Black Soul, like that weapon I'm holding there, is that when it shoots you, you dissolve, like um, your body melts. Like you, you burn, right? You burn and you melt. So it has a, a huge advantage over other weapons. Because other ones, they just kind of shoot you and then you still have the ability to come up and then attack that person. But if I shoot you with this one, uh, even if I get you once or twice, your body will melt. You, you understand? So it has that it has that special effect that when it hits you... I mean, I, not once or twice. It depends where I hit you. If I hit you in the head, obviously, a headshot, you're going to dissolve. But if I hit you around the legs and then the... You get my point. By the time I'm shooting you and you're trying to get out of my way or run away from me, I mean, your body dissolves. So it's it's got its advantages. I'm playing the same game on my iPhone. This one is the one with the backbone. Uh, if you notice, that's the backbone logo thingy there. Right, so it's... So these weapons are all Black Cell. See? And that's a Black Cell one. Wow, take the scope. Domination. Right. So with this one, I've got the I've got the polo ball radar. Alpha secure. Right, let's see. Oh, 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 oh this guy is right there. <laughs> Look at his body. Did you see that? Did you see how it is off? Oh, my so cool. Oh, oh. That was right there. Right. So he, he did come from there. Oh, come on. Oh, my God. This people. <laughs> Look at his body. <laughs> did you see him? Did you see that? See how quickly he died. That's why I like these most and things. Nice. People like hiding in there. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, God. What you can do is try. And I leave the pull up the radar here for this dude. And I think if people don't start. Oh, my God, please. See how he feels. <laughs> Look at it. You see his body. His body just melts. <laughs> oh, yeah, someone else did. What? Oh, my God. Ah, okay. If he runs close, he should die. Ah, uh, what happened? Was I not able to throw it? That was so funny, man. I got two of them. This game is really dope. I'm serious. People like hiding. Yeah. And, oh, my God. Oh, wow. I did not Charlie, see that dude Charlie. at all. I'm holding back a lot, I know. But as, as I play the game, you know, if you start playing this game for a few hours, you'll, you'll start getting better. I think there's a guy running up here. Oh my god. Enemy securing Charlie. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> he thought he was being clever. <laughs> You ran, you ran directly to where the, the claymore was. I mean, the sorry, the proximity mine. You see what it does? It flies up and it ex explodes. Securing alpha. Alpha secure. Oh, man. You know that scope? I know it's part of the gun, but I hate that scope, man.
Charlie secure. Uh, like I said, the more you play this game, oh my god, see that? Wow, you see that? The guy came running in and he died. He threw a grenade though. Ah, uh, pretty. Well, the grenade was gonna get me anyway. What what cool scope is that? You see the scope he's using? Right, the, that's what I like about proximity mines. I can destroy it there. People like to stand over there, but um, if I just throw it over here, that would be the best. Oh my god, you see that? The mine got him. Uh, you can actually revive people in this game as well. If you get close to them, you can revive them. I don't know what it is to revive someone uh, with the Joseph's controller. Hey. Out. Someone come to me. Oh, yes. <laughs> we'll say that and then someone will come. I have to change that scope. You know the scope that's on that gun. I need to remove it. Wow, you see? Look at that. It's just dissolved. Dead. Oh my god. Those oh my god. I think that's. <laughs> he threw, he threw it in. Like, like I said, the more you play the game. Oh my god. The more you play this game, um, the easier the game will get. So I know it's, it's a bit difficult to play at the moment. And the thing is, don't, don't run in. Try to crouch, try as much as possible uh, to get up close and personal, but try to crouch. I mean, I forget to do it all the time, but try and do it that way. Right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go up here and see if there's anyone in there. See, so they close the doors. Ah, I don't see it moving. <laughs> this isn't John Doe. That's interesting. Enemy securing Alpha. Right, right. Where are these things at? Enemy securing Alpha. The Polo Borader does exactly what it says. Um, Damage. So what it does basically anyone that runs near that portable radar uh, will show up on a minimap so they don't need to He's dead. Oh my god. How did that happen? He should have died though, right? Because he ran directly into the mine. So I, that's how I hate about this game sometimes. There's no consistency. So he should have died. It exploded. Look at his body. Well, he, he kind of went to where he belongs. Charlie's Oh my god, I missed him. I missed him, dude. I think he's dead now. Did these guys get him? That's why I like the gas grenade. Because this affects not just you, but the enemy. So if, if you are fortunate enough to survive and um, you know you got yourself up. Wait, can I go through here? No, I can't. Okay, no, I'm just look at the body. There you go. There's someone, you see? Someone right there. Let's see. Oh my god. That's what I'm saying. Sometimes if you're lucky, if you shoot, if you shoot into the thing, if you shoot into it. Wait. Yeah, okay, wait, wait, wait. Just thinking, there should be someone up here. Always someone in here. Oh, no one around. Right, so... 
There you go. Proximity mine, proximity mine. And then both sides are covered. And then, oh, I don't have any uh, gas grenades on me. There you go, mate. There you go. <laughs> I got two of them. Oh my god, look, the body's still there. Wow, three. I just need one more. I get one more, then I, I get a uh, thingy. Come on. Then I'll get the UAV. I can help my squad out, please. Yes, there you go. UAV. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Damn. You can help them with the... Oh, I was trying to put the portable raid gun. Oh my god. Oh, someone's dead. So I, I had to help them out. There you go. Oh my god, I got a cruise missile. I got the cruise missile. Nice one. That's why you see what I did. Okay, let's see. Oh my god. I mean, that was a good gameplay though. Uh, that gun, the BP-50, I need to change the scope. The scope's not good. I mean, I understand why they put that scope, but the scope's not good. You see, he's using a SWAM, a WSP. The hand machine gun. Because that thing, you can hold it with one hand. I got 20 kills. Check that out. I got 20 kills. I got 20 kills. I died 12 times. 20 kills, I died 12 times. You see the Ram uh, Ram 9. The Ram 9 and the Striker uh, or Striker 9, those are good weapons. The Val 46 is a good weapon. Uh, from from my understanding, this scope, I don't like that scope. I got to change the scope. Scope's no good. You know, the other thing I could do is, if it doesn't have a scope, right? What, what I could do with this, you know, instead of going for that thing, let me just change this. Yeah, the recoil. There you go. Now it's going to ask me to change something. And you just tap on it, say yes. There you go, scope is gone. Right, but I've got the laser, you see? So everything here is all good. I mean, um, I, I know I'm telling you guys not to change stuff, but I'm just finding that scope was bad for me. Uh, so let me just see what do I have. Oh, this is Warzone. All right, I want, I want multiplayer. You need to select multiplayer. Right, wait, did I change this? okay okay didn't change it no i mean it's uh i was in the other one so this got recoil and handling i don't want the scope scope's gone thank you very much do not want that at all right so in this one they're both black cell they both don't have scopes but i prefer it that way uh that's a fennec that's an ibis and let's see that's these are both strikers like i told you one's a striker nine the other striker these are both uh got flames on them a shotgun. One's a shotgun, the other's a pistol. Uh, these are both light machine guns. Uh, one's a stinger. Then there's a fire one. That's black cell. That's a SV uh, A5. That's another striker grenade launcher. Then I've got uh, this is Hurricane FS FSS Hurricane. Then I've got first step. That's um, the P something. Uh, then this one is sniper all fate black cell grenade launcher. And then this one is also uh that's a black star sva5 uh with the this that's a launcher that's the one for the helicopters because in this game if your plane shoot them shoot the ship or um wash pit they will they can't they can call in helicopters or jets and then if you obviously got that one you can take down the helicopter uh why i've got grenade launcher well the grenade launcher actually has got more ammo than the um, it's got more. It's got more ammo than than a uh, RPG. RPG only comes. I think RPG only has like two uh, rockets on it. So um, the uh, the grenade launcher actually comes with uh, uh, more uh, more uh, more ammo, more ammunition. So that's why I select. You see, you can see I've got that one there as well, but I don't want that one. Let me go for dead silence. Uh, dead silence that means that they can't hear your footsteps uh, I've got the sensor thing on that that's the smoke thing wait if I can swap that one out with that one 
what's this one? Oh, that's Didos. I like that one. That scrambles the the UAVs and stuff. I want to go for the one that I was at. I uh, selected Dead Silence. Oh no, these are these are light machine guns, so that's all right. Uh, I don't know where I was at. Right, I think I'm getting lost a bit. Okay, Dead Silence. I want to swap this. Uh, let's swap this from Dead Silence to. Uh, let's see. Anti armor rounds. Then I'm um, looking at uh, the that uh, tactical insertion. That's the flare thing. Uh, tactical camera is what I'm gonna go for. Um, I mean, I could have used that with a sniper, right? You could use that with a sniper as well. The tactical camera, because what that thing does is you can control the camera and see where people are at. You know. So I'm thinking like. But I'm not going to have time to look at the heartbeat sensor with those light machine guns, am I? But the, the camera thing might be good because as long as no one finds it and no one destroys it, then basically you do have the upper advantage over other people. Do you understand? So you could have be, it could be somewhere in a location that no one can find it. And then when I check on the camera, as long as it's still active, I can still see where people are. Then I can run there and gun them down.